175 from AST. gonna find out why they did a hole. Oh, 
all in the back and right here. This is the one you might miss. You see that? There's one up there. I know you got that stimulus check. Good for Sam. Floki, I know you got the stimulus check. So this is also a T45. So just crack it loose. And after I do that, I'm gonna put that up because the oil's really hot. I don't want it to spray everywhere. So we're gonna get in there. Here we have the ring that we're gonna replace off the uh, drain ring, the drain plug here. So we're gonna remove that, and we're gonna get a new one. Okay, so here's our new little ring that we're gonna put on here. It's a crush ring, so it starts out rounded, and then uh, when you tighten it down, it flattens against the pan. So while that's draining, let's do tire pressures. Uh, the TPMS light was on, so we're going to check that out and see if we can find it in the middle of our I do this now in order to ensure we have all the oil right down to the car. So here's 35. I don't think that's the one that's leaking. Only a few PSI low. 38. Oh, there. There it is. I think. Is that it? No, that's just a little piece of glass. 24. I guess that's probably. So let's take a look, see if we can find any nails. might be it. And I'm just using a soapy water and then we're gonna spin it and see if we see any bubbles coming out of here. Oh there it is. And that because it's so close to the sidewall is not repairable. We don't want to repair anything that's on the inside of this line here. So she does need a tire. And we're pretty low on tread anyways. We're down to the tread bars. This is probably around 4, 30 seconds. So I'd recommend rear tires anyways. And it 
has the oil specification right here, so uh, 50200, so anything that conforms to that. button down to start the car and while you do that you want to hold the zero it will come up do you really want to uh, reset and you're going to press ok on the steering wheel and then service reset and then how you do inspection is put your hazards on same deal okay and it feels like we have a few cold start misfires so when I started it up to check the oil level, I felt some cold start misfires. I think it probably needs a carbon clean. Uh, usually around 60K, they do need a carbon clean. So that will be my next thing that I'm gonna do on this. So we're gonna check the oil level now that we have uh, the car started and the filter full. So our oil level is right here, um, right below the max where it should be. So that looks good. Make sure everything is all good. I do want to check once over this. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day.